Hello and welcome. My name is Donna Gray. I'm a stamping up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. I'm bringing you some brand new hot off the press products that will be live to customers in January the 3rd, 2020. You may say, why am I doing a video now when we can't get our hands on the products until January? Well, I have a deal for you that I think is fantastic. And if you absolutely fall in love with all of our brand new products that are coming, you can actually join my team in December and put these in your starter kit. So you don't have to wait until January for $169. You can join my team and get to choose $235 worth of product. Starting from the 3rd of December, you can put these brand new items that are coming in our um, mini catalog that is handmade for you, a mini catalog that runs from January the 3rd right through to the beginning of June. So I'm gonna do a really quick, simple, easy card using this Parisian Beauty stamp set. Now it has framelits that match it. I don't have the framelits just yet, so I thought I would just do a quick card showing you how to use just the stamp set alone. So what I've got is I've got a piece of mint macaron. Now my mint macaron is cut at five and three quarter inches by eight inches. I'm going to fold that in half and that will give us a card front size of four inches across this way by five and three quarter inches this way. We have a piece of flirty flamingo that is cut at five and um, a quarter inches by three and a half inches. And then I have a smaller piece again of watercolor paper that is cut at five inches by three and a quarter inches. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to take my Flirty Flamingo ink pad and I'm actually going to do just a little bit of a watercolor wash on this piece of um, watercolor paper. So I've got one of my aqua painters and I'm just going to squeeze a bit of water into the pile of ink that I have in the top of here. And I'm just going to do a watercolor wash just down over the middle of that card. And I'm just going to, and the beauty of the watercolor paper is that we're able to spread that ink around because our watercolor paper is designed for spreading that ink around. Okay, so that's about all I wanna do as far as the watercolor wash on that piece of cardstock. So now what I'm going to do is I'm hopefully going to grab my heat tool and I'm going to um, just dry that off on the low setting with my heat tool. So I'm just gonna plug my heat tool in here and we're just going to um, dry that off quickly so that we can stamp, because I wanna stamp on top of it as well. So I'm just going to, the watercolor paper dries really quickly. So that's the beauty of watercolor paper. It's designed for quick coloring and um, making projects very quickly. So as you can see, that's drying really, really quickly. I'll just turn it over to make sure it dries on the back. But you can see that's dried very, very quickly. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is there is this gorgeous script here. So I actually want to pop some of that, stamp some of that across, and then I'm going to stamp my... Eiffel Tower on top of that. So what I actually want to do is I want to be able to um, stamp off. So I need a scrap piece of paper, which I have here. I'll just pop a scrap piece of paper over there. So I'm going to use my smoky slate, but I only want it very light. So I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to stamp off first. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it three times. I'm going to stamp off three times, two, three, and then I'm going to stamp on here. Okay, so as you can see, I've just got, a, hopefully you can see that coming up in 
the um, video just got a hint of that writing in the background. I'm going to ink up a third time, so three times off. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of writing off there. And once again, I just need a little bit more up the top and I'm just going to go off the side up here. So all I've got is just a little bit of scripty writing in that background. So then I've got my gorgeous Eiffel Tower. So I'm going to stamp, I'm gonna ink that up in our smoky slate. And I'm going to stamp that just right in the middle of that front layer. I'm just gonna stamp that down like that. And we have a gorgeous Eiffel Tower stamped there. Okay, so then I'm actually going to put Life is a Magnificent Adventure. I want to, I want to stamp that. Where are we? Life is a Magnificent Adventure. There it is there. So I'm just going to mount that up on a block. And I'm going to stamp that on. A piece of, do I want white or do I want cream on there? I think I'm going to do the cream, the very vanilla base. So I'm going to ink that up in our smoky slate. And I'm just going to stamp that down the bottom on this piece of very vanilla so that we can trim that down and get a really nice fine sentiment layer okay so i'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and i'm going to trim that layer down so this is our brand new stamping up trimmer that we have that's now available for purchase and we have some nice little notches up here that holds our cardstock in place, which is fantastic. So I'm just gonna butt that up against there and get it right where we need it to be. And I'm just going to trim that off. So we've got that trimmed down nicely. Okay, so now I'm going to take my triple banner punch and I'm going to banner the ends of that sentiment layer so i'm going to banner that end and then i'm actually going to feed it through and banner the other end so just like so and we have a really really cute banner ready to go now in the stamp set we have another little stamp that is um, quite cute and it's this little like a flourish type of stamp so I'm actually going to around the outside edge of my mint macaron I'm actually going to stamp some of these cute little flowers and I'm going to grab my mint macaron ink pad so I'm going to do tone on tone here And I'm just going to line that up on the top edge. And then I'm going to turn it upside down and line it up on the bottom edge. Like so. And then I'm just going to pop one in the middle here and one in the middle here and that is just to create just a tiny little bit of interest in behind our layer like so I think I'm actually gonna do I'm gonna do all the edges as well I'm gonna go like that and like that and like that and like that and that way then it creates a bit of a background behind our card, which is quite nice. It looks like a nice little florally background. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this one up on my Flirty Flamingo base because, and I'm going to use double-sided tape. And the reason that I'm going to use double-sided tape, it is watercolor paper. Plus we have watercolored, so therefore the cardstock has warped a little bit. So I actually just want that um, to sit really nice and flat. So I'm actually going to pop some double-sided tape all the way around. Now, I normally use my liquid Tombow to glue my layers. The only time that I actually use double-sided tape to glue my layers down is if I have embossed or if I have used watercolor paper and I've used the heat gun and it just makes it sit nice and flat on our project. So um, that's the only reason that I would actually use the um, watercolor paper um, at this stage with my crafting. Okay, now I'm just going to bring in a pokey tool to get the backing off those. For some reason I've lost my take your pick tool, which it always happens. I need to have more than one of them. They seem to go missing off my crafting area quite easily or they get under something and I don't know where I've put it. It should actually be on the desk here. I've been doing videos. Oh, there it is. Found. I will get my take your pick tool out because I love my take your pick tool. It's the Swiss Army nice knife of crafting. So if you don't own a take your pick tool, it is fantastic. It has removable ends. We have a putty end. It also has a brush end. So for um, getting all those little pieces out of your framelits, it is fantastic. We also have a pokey tool end. We also have a spatula end. And we do also have, um, and it's not actually on my desk at the moment, but we do actually also have a stylist end as well. So it has so many different bits and pieces. As I said, definitely the Swiss Army knife of crafting. Okay, so now I'm going to just line that up and pop that down onto my flirty flamingo layer with nice even borders all the way around. And as you can see, by using that double-sided tape, it goes really nice and flat onto our cardstock layer. So super, super fantastic. Okay. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm thinking I've got some mint macaron ribbon and I'm thinking I might do some mint macaron ribbon down the side, I will. So I'm just gonna grab my double-sided tape again and I'm going to turn that over. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of double-sided tape on the top and the bottom here to pop my ribbon into. Now this ribbon is mint macaron textile ribbon. So um, just mint macaron quarter inch textile ribbon. So it is a beautiful ribbon. It goes really, really well with our mint macaron cardstock. And the beauty of stamping up is that everything matches and coordinates. So if you've got mint macaron cardstock, you've got mint macaron ink, you've also got mint macaron um, ribbon, which is fantastic. So I'm just going to, no, I want to place it over a little bit further than that. So I just want it down the edge of my card like so, and we'll trim that off. Okay, so that's looking super special. I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals now. I'm going to actually grab these ones because I've got some edges here, which is fantastic for doing around the edges of your cards. Okay. So I'm just going to, so make sure you use all of your dimensionals. As you can see, this is the outside edge of my um, dimensional pack. And there is so many bits that we can still use on that outside edge. So that one, that one, and I might even just pop one there and one there. 
So as you can see, I've nearly used all the outside edges of my dimensionals. So we're just gonna take the backings off those now. And then we can pop that layer on the front. Okay. So I'm just going to make sure I've got that nice and even and pop that on the front like that. Now our sentiment I think can go across here and I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals as well. just like that okay so now I'm going to with my ribbon tie a beautiful bow with our mint macaron ribbon I think that's going to look super special. Just there like that. And I'm going to use some double-sided tape just to glue my ribbon down. And that's going to hold my ribbon in place as well. So the ribbon coming down the side, it's going to hold that in place. It's also going to hold that ribbon exactly where I want it there. And then I'm going to take my Wink of Stella. And this may be a trick that you may have seen um, or you may not have. But I, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to ink up my Wink of Stella. So squeeze a bit out like, so we're going to get it to come out, which it's coming squeeze and then I'm going to hit it on something hard and we're going to get some gorgeous shimmer all over that card now I'm gonna bring that up to the light hopefully you can see the gorgeous shimmer in the light on that card so it just adds that beautiful glittery shimmer look. And I think when we think about the Eiffel Tower, we think of it being glitzy and glimmery and, and super, super special. So hopefully you enjoyed that quick video using the Parisian Beauty stamp set. And as I said, it does have matching framelits, so you can cut out the Eiffel Tower and everything um, with the matching framelits. And I'm waiting on my delivery to arrive probably this afternoon that I will actually have that in my hot little hands to be able to do it. But some gorgeous sentiments, beautiful um, scrolly sentiments, gorgeous little like these postal um, marks and things are fantastic. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful set. So as I said, this is coming brand new in our mini catalog that starts 3rd of January and goes right through until the beginning of June. And as I said, we as demonstrators are able to order from that brand new mini catalog starting on the 3rd of December. So if you simply cannot wait, if you see all of the other demonstrators showing you all of these brand new products that are coming and you simply can't wait, Try thinking about joining my Wild Heart Crafters team. I would love to have you as part of my team. You don't have to sell. You don't have to do videos. You don't have to do anything. You can join wholly and solely just to buy your products as a discount. And you can pop these into your starter kit from the 3rd of December. So if you're interested in that, please cop it put a comment below and I would be happy to get in contact with you and chat and answer any questions you may have. Um, if not, these products will be available starting on the 3rd of January, which is when celebration starts. We as demonstrators get all the perks of celebration all the way through December, just saying. So the time is right to be joining my team right now. So if you're interested, please let me know. 
Thank you. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If this is the first time you've watched, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And I have over 200 videos on my YouTube channel, so you can scroll through and check out all my other videos that I have. I also go live over on my Facebook page, and um, I have an Instagram page where you can actually check out my projects on Instagram as well. So thank you everybody and um, feel free to pop me an email if you're interested in joining or you would like to purchase any of the products if you live in Australia. Thank you very much. Till next time, happy crafting. Bye for now.